a single voice echoes, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The words hang in the air, a chilling prophecy from a man who would change the course of history. As the darkness fades, we find ourselves looking into the eyes of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the man behind the atomic bomb. Today we delve into his story, a tale of brilliance, ambition, and a power so great it could annihilate nations. Welcome, history enthusiasts, to a journey into the life of Oppenheimer. Born in New York, 1904, Oppenheimer was a man of many talents, but it was his work in nuclear physics that would define his legacy. His journey into this field began in the 1930s, but it was during the Second World War that his work took a pivotal turn. In 1941, Oppenheimer was invited to a top-secret meeting of scientists to brainstorm how to build a nuclear bomb. His brilliance led him to oversee the physics group tasked with designing the bomb, marking his official entry into the Manhattan Project. Los Alamos, a deserted area in New Mexico, became the base of operations. Here, Oppenheimer and his team of over 6,000 people worked tirelessly to create the atomic bomb. Despite the harsh living conditions and intense secrecy, they were driven by a singular goal, to end the war. By 1945, they had designed two bombs, Little Boy and Fat Man. The latter was tested in Alamogordo, New Mexico, in an explosion so powerful it was visible from three states. Oppenheimer's reaction to this was haunting, as he quoted from the Hindu text, the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945, leading to Japan's surrender. While this marked the end of the war, it also sparked a new era of nuclear power and warfare. Oppenheimer's story is a testament to the power of science and its profound impact on our world. As we look back, we're reminded of the immense responsibility that comes with such knowledge. That's it for today's quick dive into history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the past. Until next time.